What do post-it notes, blood-sucking fiends, and stand-up comedians have in common? They're all part of a larger puzzle that, when pieced together, might explain why the real-life Merc with a mouth said nighty-night to a certain daywalker. Ryan Reynolds has sat at the top of the Hollywood heat for many years now, taking on all kinds of projects in that time. From goofy comedies to superhero epics, he has proven himself an immensely versatile on-screen talent. In doing so, Reynolds has brushed shoulders with numerous fellow big-screen stars, from Hugh Jackman to his wife, Blake Lively. While most of these cinematic partnerships turned out to be pretty fruitful, not all of them left Reynolds eager to reunite with his co-star in future features down the road. Don't make the same mistakes I did, got it? Long before he brought Deadpool to life for the first time, Reynolds made his Marvel movie debut in 2004's Blade Trinity. In the role of Hannibal King, he stands beside Blade himself, played by Wesley Snipes, as they battle back against the vampires who seek to terrorize humanity. Though they work together, Hannibal and Blade are far from friends, which seems to mirror Reynolds' real-life strange relationship with Snipes. When asked by Premiere Magazine if he'd ever work with Snipes again on a potential Blade 4, Reynolds made it clear with a slight laugh and a shake of his head that he has no interest. Taking into account what Reynolds has said about his experience working with Snipes on Blade Trinity, it's no surprise that he doesn't want to work with the actor again. It has long been the word online that Wesley Snipes wasn't the easiest to work with on the set of Blade Trinity. The actor supposedly remained in his trailer for most of the shoot, emerging only to film close-ups, thus leaving his stand-ins to do the bulk of the work. Over the years, other stories like him only communicating with director David S. Goyer solely through post-it notes, attempting to choke him out at one point, and refusing to open his eyes for one scene have gained a lot of traction on the internet. Give, he would communicate with, with uh, post-its that he would give <laughs> to the director, and each one he would sign Blade. His interactions with Ryan Reynolds have also made the rounds, somewhat explaining Reynolds' disinterest in working with Snipes again. After stating that many of the claims regarding the tension between himself and Snipes are overblown, Reynolds recalled to IGN, My personality is the polar opposite of Wesley. I never met Wesley, I only met Blade, and he is a method actor. He added that he respects Snipes for his method approach to the character and his commitment to the craft, but he could tell that his co-star couldn't stand him. Noting that his ad-libbing seemed to get on Snipes' nerves, he continued, There's a moment in the movie where I look up at Jessica Biel and I swear to God, I didn't even know the cameras were rolling anymore. And I say, he hates me, doesn't he? And she's like, yeah. He hates me, doesn't he? Yeah. Unsurprisingly, as the many Blade Trinity rumors centered on him have picked up steam, Wesley Snipes has taken it upon himself to set the record straight in some regards. When it comes to his post-it note usage, long trips to his trailer, and clashes with David S. Goyer, these points stemming from comedian and Blade Trinity actor Pat Oswalt, he asserted during a chat with The Guardian that these supposed anecdotes from the set are nothing more than fiction. In the aforementioned interview, Snipes didn't bring up Ryan Reynolds, his feelings on his frequent improv, or anything regarding their time working opposite one another on the third Blade film. Instead, he focused primarily on Oswald's comments and their wider implications. Therefore, it's safe to assume that the actor hopes to put Blade Trinity, his experience working on it, and all the rumors and stories surrounding its troubled production behind him. After all, the threequel is rapidly approaching 20 years old, and both he and Reynolds have moved on personally and professionally.